Hey, this is Chase with Houston Frogs. Today I'm going to be showing you all some of the clutches that we pulled here at Houston Frogs, as well as showing you how we set up the tadpoles, or say hatched out the eggs. Uh, so as you can see, today we pulled um, quite a few, uh, 32 clutches. Um, it's a decent pull for a day. Uh, these are Azurius here. We have another Azurius. Infralonis, Azurius, Power Blue. We have Costa Rican. We have True Sip, Matecho, Azurius. We have uh, Tumukmakwe, we have Cobalt, we have uh, Truncatus, we also have some Oyapok, that's one of my favorites, uh, Cobalts, we have Monte Dorado, a very rare tinctorious locality, uh, Cobalt, La Ceballo Rodas, we have Nicaragua Rodas, more Azurius, we have quite a few here, Turquoise and Bronze Rodas, True Sip, we have more Azurius, Amariga Hanelli, another little favor of mine. Uh, then we have more Monte Dorada. We have some Vanessas, those are uncommon. We have Green Sips, Costa Ricans, Alanis. We have some more Cobalts here. Then we have some more Hanelli here. We have Infralanus, Rio Cascajal Rodas, and more Azurius. So these are some guys today that are ready to be put in water. Um, you can see that the tadpoles well, they start off as eggs, of course, but this is what they look like when they're freshly laid. So like that, or that right there is a good example. Um, after a few days, you're going to see that they're going to start to develop. Uh, after about a week, they look like so. And then once they're ready to hatch out, you see all these little guys wiggling here. Once they're ready to hatch out, they're going to strain out. These guys are just about to hatch. You can see a couple of them have hatched already. And they're gonna strain out and look like this. So at this point, uh, what we're doing is taking a 6-ounce container. I mean, you can use a 6-ounce. You can do a 32-ounce uh, if you'd like. Uh, I add distilled water to it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of black water extract. Now, I'll add enough to make it sort of like a light tea color. Um, sort of like if you like, well, if you like tea. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to add in a bit of Indian almond leaf like so. Now, this is very important, this black water extract, I don't use it for all my tadpoles because some, like Amariga, they do not do well with it. But typically with uh, any of the Dentrobates, I will add this in. The reason being is that it helps to uh, actually lower the pH of the water, meaning that's going to uh, prevent or reduce bacterial or fungal growth. It's also going to add a lot of B vitamins to the water as well. It's just sort of simulating a decaying uh, organic matter vegetation in the water. Um, a lot of things like these leaves even uh, are going to be releasing tannins into the water, helping to lower the pH. And also this is going to be food for the tadpole. As it starts to break down, they'll actually feed upon that, uh, which is nice because it sort of gives you a little bit of a buffer to underfeeding. Um, now we're gonna add those in and then I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the tadpoles in. So these are some fine spot leucomelis. These were uh, put in egg boxes about two weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and very gently put one in. There we go. That's all we do. And now that little tadpole has a happy home. Um, at this point, I'm going to label it as fine spot leucomella, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of food. Now, this is our tadpole food. Uh, this is going to be a very fine tadpole food. It's not the big chunky pieces that a lot of people use. We do actually include a couple spoons in here. Uh, I'm going to start with this smallest spoon because at this point they're not going to be eating really that much. You see there's just a few little granules in there. It's very, very fine. I'm going to go ahead and put that in and bam, there you go. So I'm going to label the date that this tadpole uh, was put into water. We're going to put on the shelf. We're going to do water changes once a week. We're going to feed it about every other day as the food's consumed. We're also going to be using this uh, pipette that I have around here to be taking uh, food waste off the bottom or uh, poop off the bottom uh, every time that we're doing water changes. And then after about three months of this little guy being in water, he will morph out into a beautiful little froglet. And three months away from that, uh, he will be ready to sell. So anyways, guys, uh, again, this is Chase Houston Frogs. If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to call or message anytime. Thanks and have a good day.